Uh, let's begin. These are interesting games in Chicago at the Trust Arena. Florida Atlantic, such a darling a year ago, brings a lot of people back for the 2024 version of the team. They will play Loyola Chicago here, kind of a home away from home situation for them. Our line is six and a half. It's officially listed as a neutral site game, even though the game being played in Chicago. Total 142 in this one. Let's begin the discussion with the big man on campus. Jeff Nadu, what do you think about FAU and Loyola of Chicago here coming up on a Wednesday night? Yeah, so I had some real success with, with FAU uh, last season. I, I I feel like, you know, if you do this long enough, you can kind of find – we all kind of knew that FAU was really good. I mean, nobody – they didn't sneak up on people like us, and Corby, uh, Kyle, Matt, people like us. We knew that they were good. You know, now it's – they're not really the the hunted. They're being the hunter now. I mean, they're, they're the team that is a top-10 group. You kind of look at it and you say, well, oh, they're a top-10 team? Yeah, they are. Um, but I have some question marks about this game. Elijah Martin is questionable, uh, one of their unsung leaders at guard. Uh, he may or may not play in this game. Um, that's a big – loss if not you know they're not an incredibly deep group they bring everybody back but they're not an incredibly deep group and again a lot of pressure on this team to kind of uh, do what they did last season and they're going to be really good but i'll tell you what loyola chicago is a damn good basketball team as well good offensive group um you bring a lot back in their own right um they always have some knockdown shooters look are they an elite defensive team like they were you know a couple of years ago when porter moser was there no um, they need to, quite frankly, be better on that end. They weren't very good last season uh, defensively. You know, I actually lean to Leola here, personally. Do I think FAU wins? Probably. But something tells me this is a close game. Um, you know, in this, um, these two matchups, these big matchups today, kind of hold some closeness to me. Uh, this is the uh, second Barstool Invitational. And as many of you know, I, I was at the last one. I, I worked at Barstool at that time. It was a great event. Um, and this is a real cool event for the company, and, and I wish them the best. Um, these are two good games they have uh, in Chicago uh, tonight. So uh, this would be good. Um, I lean Loyola personally. Uh, I, I would probably grab the six and a half, but I didn't end up playing it. You see the second game uh, that is on this double header is also on our schedule that we'll talk about in a few moments. Uh, Corby Craig, we did talk a lot about Florida Atlantic during the season. Uh, it is correct. They were the final remaining unbeaten team all the way into January in the top 25. Uh, they end up winning uh, Conference USA and, and moving on to the NCAA tournament and making it to the final four. And a lot of the pieces are back, including John L. Davis. All right. Any thoughts here? It's a new year to Jeff's point about now you're the hunted. You're not so much the upstart hunter. You're the hunted every time out. It begins tonight in Chicago for them. Thoughts, Corby? Yeah, this is the Barstool Classic, and uh, two things about the Classic. Last year, I don't know if y'all remember, my Blazers were in it. We don't have to talk about it. They didn't get the invite again this year. <laughs> no one's salty. Not Definitely not me. Um, but another thing that you might remember is, is the pace in these games. Like, was it because it's the Barstool Classic? Was it like these kids actually know the event they're playing for? Probably not. But like, it, it was worth noting that these games were played at a way higher tempo than they they were basically the rest of the year. So does that happen here? I'm not sure, but it is worth noting at least. Um Florida Atlantic, as Jeff mentioned, every key point, like everyone knows how good this team is. And I think that like to see their name on the opening line, uh, op this game opened up three and a half. Now it's six and a half. I, I think first off, if you wanted Florida Atlantic, you missed your shot, like three and a half, pretty good number. Um, but I, 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 I think there's a lot to be said about being the hunted. Like it, I don't imagine that market is just sleeping on this team. You're, you're buying an absolute high. Like everyone knows who's back. Everyone knows what's happening. Also, Let's not sleep on this Loyola team. I see a, a roster turnover, which is going to bring in four double-digit scorers this year. Greg Dolan, of which averaged four threes a game, shot 43% from deep. So like, this is a team that Jeff's talked about it like the last two times I've been on a show with him. If you want to cover spreads, you have to be able to shoot threes. You have to be scrapping. You've got to get, be able to get rebounds. And, and this team has literally a center who shot 41% from deep last year. Does he shoot many of them? No, but he has the ability to shoot the deep ball. So... This just seems like a backdoor cover every single way you can put it, especially at the six and a half. Um, does Florida Atlantic win? Probably. Do they win by three? I, I would say more often than seven. All right. So not an official play on this one, but it is FAU, the darlings of last year, smaller conference uh, school mid-major, uh, going up against Loyola Chicago 
in this one, the first of a double header. Again, it's not on Loyola's home floor. It's the Wind Trust Arena, a different arena, but it's basically a home away from home game for them. We'll see how that one goes. That's game number one. Man, I see the lo- the live audience is soaring yet again. A lot of people just joined us in that opening segment. You see the games we're about to talk about. Get ready for some live questions and answers down at the bottom where we'll hit uh, several more games probably that are not on our slate. Stand by for that in a few moments. 